Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome to another episode of Anything But Horror. Now, as you can hear in the background, I've got some killer music playing, and that's going to bring me to what we're going to talk about this week, um, something that's very near and dear to my heart. We're going to talk about one of my favorite directors, probably my favorite director, Martin Scorsese. Now, this isn't going to be a overview on Martin Scorsese. This is going to be mostly about The Last Waltz. Now, as I just said, Martin Scorsese is probably my favorite director of all time. Uh, this is The Last Waltz. The Last Waltz was a 1978 film, which runs approximately 117 minutes. And, of course, is directed by Martin Scorsese. Goodfellas, The Departed, Mean Streets, it, an amazing director, an amazing career. Even movies like Hugo, which I find visually stunning. Now, this, of course, is a movie about the band. And who are the band? The band is Rick Danko. Lee Von Helm, Garth Hudson, Richard Manuel, and Robbie Robertson. Unfortunately, Rick Tanko, Lee Von Helm, and Richard Manuel have all passed, but we do have the legacy of their music. And the music I'm talking about, and is also on this film, are hits such as Up on Cripple Creek, The Weight, just beautiful songs. Don't do it. Just fantastic, fantastic music. Now, it's not just the band. This is actually a celebration, and I'll get to that in a second. But this has guests like Eric Clapton, Bob Dylan, Neil Diamond, Joni Mitchell, Neil Young, Muddy Waters, Emma Lou Harris, Ringo Starr, Paul Butterfield, Dr. John, Van Morrison, Ronnie Hawkins, and Ronnie Wood. Now, this is basically a farewell concert. Now, on Thanksgiving 1976, after being on the road for 16 years, the band is finally calling it quits. And what's bittersweet about this is... They're calling it quits at the place where they got started. And that is Winterland in San Francisco. Uh, a couple interesting things about the film. Um, it was the uh, Winterland Ballroom in San Francisco. Uh, Martin Scorsese actually filmed this for free because he was such a huge fan. And Robbie Robertson Strat was bronzed for the film. Where do I start with this film? Um, it's not just a concert video. It's interviews with the band, stories about how they got started, stories no one probably wanted to know, but it's just a very interesting concert documentary. Of one of the best bands ever. Now when I'm watching this movie. Um, I've had this for a long time. I just recently picked it up on Blu-ray. I found it at a pawn shop. And snatched it up right away. Had the DVD for years. As a matter of fact. I have somewhere in this house. I couldn't find it. But it's somewhere. A sealed videotape. A VHS of this film. Um, it's been a favorite of mine for years. I love this movie. I think it's fantastic. So many interesting stories behind the music. Um, what they tried to do was to make this a celebration being their last concert ever. I think Frankie's irritated with me that I turned off the music, but because <laughs> he likes the band too. But um, it was going to be a celebration of 16 years on the road. It's a farewell, so... Being their last concert, they wanted to get together a bunch of influences that they had 
over the past generation to share their experience. Um, of course, Dylan, I don't need to explain that one. <laughs> um, Ronnie Hawkins, Robbie Robinson got a job with him when he first started out. Um, Neil Diamond was one of the most prolific, song well, still is one of the most prolific songwriters ever on Tin Can Alley in, in uh, New York, and they explain all that. Uh, Joni Mitchell, an incredible writer, incredible singer. Uh, Emma Lou Harris, all of these things make up of not only their hits and other songs that they've done in their catalog, but also, you know, covers that they did with their friends. And that's what it is. It's a celebration of friends. Now, um, being a musician myself, uh, when I watch this, it gives me tre tremendous inspiration. When you watch them play, I see something that I don't see in a lot of bands, even bands that I admire greatly. I see a, guy, a bunch of guys on stage having fun, playing music the way a band plays music. It's, it's the little things. It's Music can sometimes be the most simple thing in the world. Not easy. Music is not easy. But it can be simple. And sometimes the joining of all these instruments together, playing individual parts with such passion and feeling, can create something like the band. Um... Like I said, being a musician, being a guitar player, a little bit of pianos, bass, a little bit of drums, you know, playing a little bit of jack of all trades, master of none, you know, if you want to call it that. Um, I've been a very big Eric Clapton fan for years and years. One of my very first inspirations to learn how to play guitar, um, and it's just followed through my life with his music. He, actually, the band was his inspiration to make music. He wanted to make music similar to what the band was doing. It has a bluesy, uh, country, western, rock and roll mix hybrid that it works. <laughs> that's all I can say is it works. And that's what he always aspired his bands to be. Of course, he did a few albums like Backless and... Um, I guess slow hand kind of fits in the in the whole realm of the band because I know it was that time frame of uh, 461 Ocean Avenue. Um, all fit the kind of time frame that was his influence with the band. And, you know, songs from Big Pink and... Wow. Um, as I said before, Scorsese is probably my favorite director... He takes a back seat to this and just talks with the band. He did this movie for free. It was a passion project of his. And it's it's an eclectic movie. But if you like music, just music in general, this has something for everyone. It really does. It, it has old music, some kind of classic rock. Of course, it's from 78, so it's not contemporary, but just beautiful music and songs that you know, and I can't stress it enough. It's it's a fantastic film of one of the best bands ever. So, yeah. Um, this, this movie is just fantastic. It's one I've wanted to talk about for a long time, if you couldn't tell, and um, yeah, very passionate about this, about this film. Uh, movie but yeah uh thank you for indulging me once again uh talking about other genres but horror because i like all different kinds of film and i'm hoping that that comes through on my videos so thank you again if you like what you see in here hit that like button and subscribe and until next time peace